over the wall like I did when I was a kid. So that every day when I go to sleep, every day when I wake up, I look at those pictures and they motivate me. You need that motivation and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time and you know exactly what you're chasing. This is why I always smiled when I was in the gym. People always came up to me and said, why are you smiling? You're working out five hours a day. You're doing the same as the other guys, but the other guys have a sour face. They're pissed off that they have to do another rep or another set or something. I looked forward to Why? Because I knew that every rep that I did and every set that I did and more weights that I lifted, I get one step closer to turning that vision into reality. It's getting closer and closer. Incredible satisfaction. I remember that when I weighed 245 pounds and Bob Rafferson, the director of Stay Hungry, said to me that I'm interested in having you in a movie. And then he said, but I don't want you to weigh more than 210 pounds. So I said, well, it's funny you come to me and you want me to be in a movie, but I'm weighing 245 to 46. But he demanded that. And he says, look, it's very simple. On the day we start shooting, he says, I'm going to put you on a scale. And if you don't make the 210, you're out. I worked on it. I started visualizing myself very clearly as a lean athlete. Because that's the only way I could lose that weight in the office and get interested in running more. Because up until that point, I ran like three miles after training or before training or whatever. But now all of a sudden it was five miles, six miles, seven miles, eight miles in order to lose the weight. And I did everything with high reps. I was watching my diet, what I eat and all those kind of things. And the day before, with Bob Rafferson, he says, let's step on the scale. And I stepped on the scale and I weighed 209. So it just shows to you what is possible if you visualize exactly what you want to look like. So it can go one way, which is that you can lose weight and get trim and get slim and everything, get the abs out most, or you go the other way and you gain weight because you see yourself big and you see yourself as a winner of a Mr. Olympia or something like that. I knew all along that it doesn't matter if I go down to 200 or to 200.